Hello everyone, welcome to NG Classes YouTube channel. In this video lecture, we'll consider finding the Z transform of X of n, which is equal to 0.5 to the power n u of n plus 2 to the power n u of minus n minus 1. How do I find the Z transform? For this, I should know the formula of Z transform, which is represented as X of Z is equal to summation n equal to minus infinity till infinity x of n z to the power minus n. So this is the formula of x of z. It is nothing but uh, two terms are there. I can uh, apply that. Therefore, I am ultimately going to get summation of n equal to minus infinity till infinity with respect to the first term. Uh, I will just include x of n. x of n as 0.5 to the power n 0.5 to the power n uh, u of n plus 2 to the power n u of minus n minus 1 both get multiplied with z to the power minus n it is nothing but summation of a plus b which is equal to summation of a plus summation of b therefore I can write this as summation n equal to minus infinity till infinity 0.5 to the power n u of n z to the power minus n as the first term plus the second one summation n equal to minus infinity till infinity 2 to the power n u of minus n minus 1 z to the power minus n. So this is what I have. So now I can simplify this further very easily. Summation n equal to with respect to the first term. As I have got u of n, u of n is the step signal which exists from 0 to infinity. So ultimately the limits are going to be 0 to infinity. 0.5 to the power n z to the power minus n. u of n in that region is nothing but 1. That has the amplitude of 1. Plus summation n equal to with respect to the second term here I have u of minus n minus 1 this is nothing but uh, the scaled and shifted version uh, not the scaled it is uh, time shifted and reflected version of u of n uh, it, this signal exists from minus infinity till minus 1 in that region u of minus n minus 1 is nothing but 1 2 to the power n and I have z to the power minus n. So this is nothing but I can simplify this further using the concept of geometric series. That is equal to summation n equal to 0 to infinity. Uh, here I have 0.5 z to the power minus 1. I would take n out from these two terms. Therefore ultimately I am going to get something like this plus summation I want the positive limits because if I want to make use of the geometric series uh, I sh the limits must be positive the result of the standard geometric series wherein the limits were positive so that I can make both as positive uh, whatever I have inside they become negative now so this is nothing but 2 to the power minus n z to the power n so in the second term also I will take n out uh, simplifying this further the first term remains as it is summation n equal to 0 to infinity 0.5 z to the power minus 1 whole thing to the power n plus summation I can write this as summation 1 to infinity I can interchange the limits 2 to the power minus 1 uh, sorry 2 to the power minus 1 z whole thing to the power n so this is what I am going to have so now <coughs> making use of the standard geometric series so the first term looks like so let me write it over here summation n equal to 0 to infinity alpha to the power n is nothing but 1 divided by 1 minus alpha so in place of alpha I have 0 0.5 into z to the power minus 1 therefore I am going to get this as 1 divided by 1 minus alpha that is 0.5 z to the power minus 1. 
is this fine plus i'm going to get uh, what is this this also resembles the result of one of the geometry series summation n equal to 1 to infinity alpha to the power n is nothing but alpha divided by 1 minus alpha this is nothing but the extrapolation of this one i am going to get this also is one of the standard geometric series result i should remember this so if i remember that i can write the answer very easily so in place of alpha i have 2 to the power minus 1 2 to the power minus 1 z so i would write that divided by 1 minus alpha that is nothing but uh, here also I would write 2 to the power minus 1 z so next is the simplification and uh, here also I would write the ROC so what is the ROC with respect to the first term uh, with respect to the first term ROC is 0 0.5 z to the power minus 1 magnitude of this must be less than 1 and with respect to the second term the ROC is uh, 2 inverse z magnitude of this must also be less than 1 so these are the ROC's so simplifying this further what I'm going to get if I take uh, z as the LCM I, or, or 0 0.5 to the power 0 0.5 divided by z I'm going to get z divided by z minus 0 0.5 the first term and uh, with respect to the second term 2 to the power uh, minus 1 what is uh, 2 to the power uh, minus 1 you can keep it as it is or one can simplify also so ultimately I'm uh, here let me keep this as it is nothing much is going to happen 2 to the power minus 1 z divided by 1 minus 2 to the power minus 1 z and what what would be the ROC uh, here with respect to the first term 0 0.5 z to the power minus 1 this is uh, less than 1 so what I do is uh, 0.5 divided by z must be less than 1 so if I take z to the RHS I'm going to get uh, mod z greater than 0.5 similarly with respect to the second term it is nothing but z divided by 2 must be less than 1 uh, therefore uh, ultimately mod z must be less than 2 so this I can consider as the final result for uh, x of z and I can draw the ROC as well so if I draw it how does that look so let me see that let me draw the x-axis and uh, y-axis uh, here I would uh, say imaginary of uh, z so I would uh, draw here two circles I would draw here two circles one with the radius 0.5 and uh, another with the radius 2 so this let me call this as the radius of 0.5 this as the radius of 2 and uh, whatever the intersection is there that I would call as the ROC because mod z is greater than 0.5 and it is less than uh, 2 I can indicate this as mod z greater than 0.5 and it is less than 2 so ultimately whatever I have here this is nothing but the ROC is this fine so this I would call it as the ROC ultimately this would be the ROC so let me call this as a region of convergence so ultimately I have to find the expression for X of Z and I have to indicate uh, the ROC as well yes that's it uh, in this video lecture and uh, we shall meet in the next video lecture till then thank you so much for watching